Welcome back friends. Today video session we are going to see how to uh, deploy Spring Boot application in external Tomcat server. How to deploy Spring Boot application in external Tomcat server. There might be a, some requirement will come right. We, we don't want to use uh, inbuilt embedded Tomcat server. We want to uh, deploy our Spring Boot application external Tomcat server or any other server. In this example we are going to see Tomcat server. How to deploy our Spring Boot application in external tomcat server okay now i'm going to uh, create a project it got done and then um, spring boot ext Here I'm going to mention var. If you want to deploy uh, any web application in Tomcat server, we have to use var file, right? That is the reason I'm selecting var file. Packaging type is var. Then, then I'm generating. Oh, sorry. Before generating, I'm going to create add a one dependency which is web. This for um, create a one simple REST endpoint. That's it. Extracting this, just I'm copying this to my workspace, just I'm placing it here. I just import this now. Let me open IntelliJ. Okay, let me import my uh, project, new project from existing source, this is the path I have right, just copy that, select this. Yeah. Now I'm going to create a small uh, rest endpoint. Before that, uh, when you look at here, since I provided var, the package type I provided var, right? That's the reason it's created one more apply, one more Java file called Solar Initializer. Solar Initializer. Through this class, we are able to deploy the Spring Boot application in the external Tomcat server. Okay, it will create one more additional file through that only we are able to uh, deploy our Spring Boot application in external Tomcat server. Okay, then here you can see the package in type equal to var. Okay, because I selected that only right after selecting this only, um, it's creating a based on this selection, it's creating a solid initializer uh, through which we are able to uh, deploy our application in Tomcat server. Then then you, you, you can see here the dependency is a Spring Boot Starter Tomcat and the scope is a provider because uh, meaning of this uh, use of this artifact is this artifact some live is provides some library that is it provides some tom it's provide Ember Tomcat server right but this Ember Tomcat server never used in runtime uh, whatever Ember Tomcats are provided by this artifact we never use but this Tomcat, this sorry, this artifact provides some library. That library we can use at compile time. If you are writing any program, that program uh, need uh, some API which is available here. Here we can use that in compile time, but it's never used in runtime. In this program, we are not at all using right any API which is available in this particular API. So this artifact also not required. Okay, we, if you want, we can comment out this. 
okay then let me create a controller let me go with single uh, simple endpoint with mapping i'm saying print return this is from external tomcat so that's it our endpoint implementation is completed let me clean that we need to generate war file right we don't have war file now if you are using ember tomcat server just to just we need to start the application right click start right if you if you say right click start it never work because we are uh, created this application for external tomcat server according to uh, accordingly uh, this particular spring boot application created okay so it's never start with the ember tomcat server See, this is exited. It's not started. Okay, because this particular artifact never used in at runtime. That is the meaning of scope provider. It never used this Tomcat server. It used only at design time, at compile time, if needed. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now we need to generate the war file, right? We need to generate the war file. For that, we need to build the application. Skip that test. I don't want to run the skip uh, test. Then install. This is the Tomcat location. I have uh, downloaded uh, nine, uh, Tomcat 9. This is a Tomcat folder. Under web app folder, we have to deploy the war file. This is the this location I'm going to deploy the war file after generating the war yeah generated war also wall generated when you look at the war spring boot context 0.0.1 snapshot this entire name i need to use while testing the application it's a very big name right also it has a version number snapshot so complex name is so complex i want to make it very simple um, so i want uh, i don't want to generate uh, this kind of name this name generated based on our application name based on our application name and the version right i don't want to generate like that i want to generate very simple name generate with very simple name for that we can use the build file name equal file name you can use file name tag inside that you can say spring boot ext okay yeah now i'm going to rerun the build before that clean clean and rerun it I clean the build. All are gone here from the target folder. I'll going to again run the install. See this time it's generating the war file very simple name spring boot spring boot ext dot war so it's very simple name right through this particular tag we can achieve that okay now I am going to copy this war file just to paste it here now we need to start the server go to bin and click start 
start that but i'm starting to start bat start that bat The application started at the port number 8080. Okay, now we're going to test the application. I created a one simple uh, rest endpoint, right? If you want to access this, what you have to do? HTTP colon localhost uh, 8080 slash print. Copy this endpoint, then paste it here. Browser. I got some error. We should not use this. This is a wrong path. We have to use the context path, right? I forgot to mention, uh, add that. Go here just to copy this context path. This act as a context path. Spring Boot EHT. Application name. You have to use application name. Paste it. Uh, Localhost 8080 slash Spring Boot EHT. Then slash print. So now we got the expected result this is from external tomcat server this is the way of uh, deploying uh, uh, our spring boot application in external tomcat server this is for brand new application right this is for brand new application i created a, way, a new spring boot application and i deployed this application in external tomcat server let's assume that you already have a spring boot application it's running under embedded Tomcat server that is provided by the Spring Boot. That application running embedded Tomcat server, but I don't. But uh, due to some reason, I don't want to use uh, embedded server. I want to deploy that uh, uh, Spring Boot existing application to in my external Tomcat server. How to do that? That we're going to see now. Okay. Now I'm going to create a uh, one more. Uh, application here let me stop this okay i'll going to create one more application left mentioning the v1 spring boot ext v1 that's it okay then i'll going to uh, select jar because i want to use uh, this Spring Boot application, I want to use embedded Tomcat server in this Spring Boot application. Later on, I want to change that to external. Okay, that's the reason I'm selecting JAR now. Dependency, same dependency. Now I'm going to uh, generating the project. Extract this. Copy this project, just cut it, then paste it to our workspace. I'm going to import this in my IntelliJ. This is Spring Boot V1. Yeah, it's imported now. See, so this time it's created only one file because I selected a jar as a packaging type. So it's created a embedded Tomcat server. It's created a embedded Tomcat server for deployment. Okay. In the form.xml file, you can see Spring Boot started web. But uh, in the other project, we have seen this one, right? Uh, Spring Boot started Tomcat. This is for to use the compile time. We can use it in compile time, not at runtime. But when you look at here, in this, we don't have that uh, artifact itself. That artifact available part of this Spring started web. When you go here, you can see start, Spring Boot starter. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to create a one simple controller class.
this controller and get mapping public string show this time I'm providing show a return this is uh, this method from show this method from show then I'm going to say Okay, I'm going to run this and just start this application. Run it. The application started. We'll check this endpoint now. So HTTP colon localhost 8080 slash show right we should use this one so we are able to execute this uh, uh, this particular uh, request going to our Ember Tomcat server this Spring Boot application uses Ember Tomcat server. Okay, we are, I have not deployed this application in external Tomcat server. This is normal way we are using it. Okay. Now I want to convert this Spring Boot application as an external Tomcat server. I want to deploy this, this Spring Boot application to external Tomcat server. Okay, how to do that? It's a very simple. The first, what you have to do is go to and the, uh, the other Spring Boot application copy this uh, copy this file the servlet initializer okay copy this file and paste it here then just add this application name Spring Boot v1 applic Spring Boot v1 application okay just add this So once we added this particular class, right? This Spring Boot application eligible to deploy uh, external Tomcat server. Then after that, we need to add one more property because in the artifact we have selected a jar file. So it's the in the Spring Boot starter web produces the Ember Tomcat server. Okay, Ember Tomcat server. We want to stop that. How to do that? For that we have a one property. In the we need to add Spring main web application. Spring dot main dot web iPhone application iPhone type equal to none we have to use this property okay <coughs> go to application property just add it now we are going to start uh, start this application let's see what's happening so it's not uh, starting the application because of you have enabled this application as a we enable this application to deploy external Tomcat server. This never uses the internal embedded server because of these properties under these particular classes. Okay. So now we need to change pom.xml. While creating this Spring Boot application, what I did, I have chosen packaging type as a jar, right? We have to make it packaging type as a var. Okay. So we need to add that property version, Spring Boot version. Mm. packaging so what that entry we need to add then here we're going to keep the file name we don't want to get a complex file name i want to make it simple file name so i am saying that uh, spring boot ext b1 okay that's it now i'm going to clean and deploy clean it Yeah, cleaned. Then I want to install it. So 
So before that, I'll going to change uh, this test controller, this method from show external tomcat. Okay, external tomcat. Okay, let me stop the application and rerun it. Clean. Install it. Okay, let me build this application. Okay, now I'll go into the web app. I'll remove this var and the folder. Spring Boot uh, ext and the Spring Boot ext var is removing it. Okay. War file generated. Let me copy this for and paste in this for to my web app folder of Tomcat. Okay. Now we're going to start the server. Server is started now. Now time to test the application. Okay, let me copy this. Then go to browser. Yeah, we have already in the browser. We have to do small changes here. We need to copy this folder name. This is a context path. Before show, just to put it. This method from show, the external tomcat, that's it. I hope you understand how to configure to deploy the Spring Boot application in external tomcat server in the case of new application, in the case of existing Spring Boot application. Okay. I'll come up with uh, some interesting topic uh, in the next video. Until then, bye bye from Suresh. Still not subscribe this channel, please subscribe it, share this video to your friend circle, click bell icon for regular updates. Thanks for watching this full video.